Well, the most common causes of blocked nose are um, the common cold, obviously, which we've, we're all familiar with, uh, but more specifically, things like a deviated nasal septum, chronic sinusitis, nasal polyps. These are the commonest things that we see as ENT doctors. Um, uh, but of course, the common cold we're all familiar with, and that's probably the commonest of all. Um, we have to treat surgically the sort of problems that we are asked to treat surgically usually are things like a deviated nasal septum, which usually causes unilateral nasal obstruction just on one side, uh, nasal polyps, which are very common as well, and also sinusitis, which is uh, treated surgically in many cases because it's a chronic ongoing problem and it doesn't respond very well to long-term antibiotics and things. Well, in the vast majority of cases, the benefits to treat, uh, treat surgically the uh, blocked nose problem is that uh, they have a permanent solution uh, because often medical treatments for these type of things don't result in a long-term permanent solution, which is frustrating for patients and so on. They really want something that's going to fix them once and for all, and it's going to offer a permanent solution. And that's what surgery does in the majority of these cases. Well, as we're aware, any operation has potential risks, whether it's an operation on your toenail or brain surgery, but nasal surgery, the main complications, as you could imagine, are, are nasal bleeding after the surgery and infections. Uh, we have means to try and prevent both of these, and they're pretty rare in any event, but bleeding and infection are probably the most common risks. Um, other risks are obviously damage to surrounding structures. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of important stuff in and around your nose. Uh, these can theoretically be damaged, but it's unbelievably rare. Yes, indeed. Um, a blocked nose can, in fact, be unblocked permanently, and that's the attraction of having surgery to fix it because the underlying problem is corrected uh, anatomically so that the drainage and the air passage and so on in the nose is corrected permanently, and it stays that way in the vast majority of cases.